I have four notebooks that I've been writing in every day um, and that I pull out every day and reread what I've written in them um, and make sure that I'm constantly thinking about it. So I want to go over these notebooks with you. Okay, so this is four steps that you can take to better help yourself become happier and know yourself better. Um, let's get started. Hey, that's me, Jamie. This is my husband, Adam, and our boys, Corbin and Dylan. After spending the past 10 years raising my boys, I found myself a bit lost. So I'm setting out on an adventure to rediscover myself. Come along as I redefine myself and enjoy the shenanigans that happen while taking my family for the ride. Okay guys, so the first notebook I want to talk about is the Critical Tasks um, notebook. This is like my to-do list every day. I have my breakfast and I write in it every single day. I made a list of five that were important to get done every single day. And that list looks different every day. Helps me keep everything organized and headed in the right direction because um, it also helps me keep track of my progress so I can look back and see, hey, I did this thing, I did that thing. So the second notebook that I'll talk about just because it's relevant um, is the channel notebook. Everything goes into here for my channel. So I'm creating a logo, uh, any place that I have websites that um, I need to write down. Maybe I have um, intro ideas or video ideas um, and, I, and I need to quickly grab the notebook and write it down so I know where to find it. Number three is positivity and self-care. For those of you who know me and see me out in public, you're like, she's positive, but what is she talking about? I know how to cover up how I feel because I've been doing it my whole life. Cover everything up. Like everything. Cover it right up. I don't do a good job of taking care of myself because I feel that it's more my responsibility to take care of everybody else. And so therefore, what I think they really mean when they say you can't take care of other people if you don't take care of yourself. I think what they really mean is that eventually you won't be there because that's the cost of not taking care of yourself. You won't be there anymore. So keeping that in the back of my head, I'm trying to take care of myself more often. Um, remembering to um, just do things for me. So that's part of what this channel is about, is, is learning about doing things for me. Creating uh, comfort, but uh, also growing and expanding and creating a bigger comfort bubble so that comfort looks different than it currently does for me. All right, and the last notebook I wanna talk about is redefining me. And I know, I can't spell. Now that you know I can't spell, not a secret, you're prepared. Um, so redefining me. It's where I'm writing down all of my belief systems, like uh, the finances. So if I continue to believe that I don't have enough, doing the bills is always going to give me anxiety and panic because I'm drawing on all of the memories that I have where I couldn't pay my bills. And those were really dark times. Doesn't matter for this video. Maybe I'll talk about it sometime. Um, but anyway, I don't want to keep that belief because then I'm going to create situations that constantly bring us back to that financial point. I like my life to get easier, to have these radical moments of change and to just see um, 
that shift and how things change and 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 twist and become something beautiful and brand new and help a person heal I guess is what I'm trying to say yeah so all of this to say I am starting a healing process and one of the things I really want to do is be able to bring this healing process to you and be able to bring my journey to you in hopes to help you um, so yeah four notebooks four different ways to organize your life um, I hope that something in here helped you um, I hope that you'll tune in next week and see me because I love you have a great day guys